Hello, everyone. Good morning. Happy New Year's. We are going to go over today's Gulfstream card. Unfortunately, it's uh, not so great. Not a lot of great value today. Race one is a newly formed three-year-old turf race. Happy birthday to all race horses, all race horses, all two-year-olds become three-year-olds today. Looks like they have the right favorite um, spy novel, but it's uh, way too short to consider. It just really is not an interesting race. I would probably wheel it. Um, I uh, just don't think it's a great race to get involved. And unfortunately, the same is true about race two. They have, I guess, the right favorite, Hey Hey Paula. She's uh, obviously has some difficulties with a lot of uh, very slow starts, and she's got some fast sprinting numbers. She'll uh, have to translate those into going long for the second race, but um, it's just it, very bad value with her, um, with that question mark of whether or not she can go long and what's going on with all the, um, she obviously has some physical problems. So not a great, uh, not a great race because of that. The other two horses with the shot are maybe the uh, two and the seven, but they're not very long, and it's just kind of a, a race without a lot of value or direction. Unfortunately, the same is with the third race, another newly minted three-year-old race on turf, and uh, it's pretty much almost an all-race if you're going to use this in the exotics, just a bunch of unknowns, a bunch of horses that have run on turf maybe once, so it's not a great race to get involved in. Race four, again, uh, they seem to have the right favorites, so the odds look pretty good. I think the slight standout is the one frosted uh, armor at uh, three to one, though this is not very exciting. So if you have to use somebody, I would single frosted armor with the one, but wouldn't really get involved. Fifth race starts getting a little more interesting. And we have uh, probably the bet of the day, the two never explain. It's a tough race, but if this horse is anywhere near 15 to one, it's definitely worth it. Uh, they have the right favorites here. The favorites are okay. And um, yeah, I just uh, just kind of the the two at fifteen to one never explained as a standout. Don't have a lot of horses to use it with because the favorites are are okay. So I don't know, just maybe a win bet or throw it in the exotics if you got something else. Six race, a bunch of uh, baby three year olds and an allowance, and just no value here. A bunch of horses that look very similar. Seventh race, uh, same thing. A bunch of. Uh, newly minted three-year-olds and they have the right favorites. There's really just no value. So unfortunately today, the card's not great. The eighth race, eighth race uh, does have some value and the favorite four coming off a layoff. I don't understand why this is a favorite, but it's a big favorite in this race. Uh, the two actually is another favorite. It's race first time from Europe. So I think it's a great race to throw out the favorites, focus on some long shots. The one value proposition is an interesting value proposition. It's 30 to one, probably won't win this race, but at 30 to one, you've got to use it. Definitely has a shot. The three at 10 to one, Rose for Raven has to be used. The five, he's pure gold at 15 to one is probably the best um, of the long shots. The six, easy time, seven, freedom matters, and the 10, ever dangerous at 10 to one. I would say three, five, ten. Rose for Raven, he's pure gold, and ever dangerous are probably the keys here, and use them with the the one, six, seven a little bit. One of the better races today. Ninth race, uh, another young race, three year olds, uh, hard to separate, and there's not a lot of value. They seem to have the correct odds. Nothing really to do here. And the final race, um, mile and a half on the turf is uh, very contentious. Almost everyone has a shot and there's really no great long shot to uh, focus on. If anything, maybe the nine. I would say the nine at 15 to one, but um, just a small play. And that is it for today. So not a lot going on at Gulfstream, but uh, good luck and um, make some money.